Okie dokie. In this problem, we're given more genotypes and phenotypes, and in this case, we're dealing with some traits. We might have to deal with more Punnett squares, and uh, let's jump into it. So I finally learned how to do this problem for years. I had no idea what I was doing. I'll just tell people to guess, but we've come a long way. So I uh, just learned it five minutes ago. Let's see if I can share what I've learned. So the first thing we want to do is break down these parents' genotypes. And so starting with parent one, we have capital A of case Q. We want to come up with all the two-letter A and Q combinations. Uh, that we can get from these A's and these Q's. So all the two-letter combination with A's and Q's, starting with A, then Q, we can have capital A, capital Q. We could have capital A, lowercase Q. Then we could have lowercase A, capital Q. Then we could have lowercase A, lowercase Q. These are all we can get from parent one. We have four options, which is usually a lot. Uh, so now let's break down parent two over here. So we have a capital A, lowercase a, and then two capital Qs. The nice thing is like when certain letters with the same capitalization uh, repeat, then that means we will have less possibilities, less outcomes of A's and Qs. So we could either have capital A, capital Q, or lowercase a, capital Q, because capital Q is the only option for Q we have, and there's just two different options for A. So in total, we just have two different outcomes here. So what we're going to do is put the parent 1's outcomes on top, and we'll put parent 2 on the side, parent 2's outcomes. And we are creating, I guess, a Punnett square here. And so, what else do they tell us? So we took care of the parents. They said, uh, what's the probability child has phenotype trait two? So before we dive into that, we're gonna analyze all the combinations or come up with all the combinations of these. So it'll always go in the order of A's, then Q's. So regardless of what the capitalization is, it'll be AAQQ, right? So we'll gather the two A's, both capital, gather the Q's, both capital. And then we'll keep going. So all the intersections, we will just write these out real quick. Capital A, capital A, capital Q, lowercase Q, capital A, lowercase Q. Sorry, capital A, <laughs> lowercase A, Q, Q. You get the idea. I'm just going to uh, just keep going through these. So A, A, Q, Q, all capital Qs. We got this, 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 this. Generally, you want to put the capital letters first, as you can probably tell, for each, you know, A's and Q's respectively. If there are no capitals, then it is what it is. All right, so I think these are all the intersections. Now, uh, they're looking for the probability of this total amount that has trait two. So now using these, we can reference this chart that we're given, right? And so what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm not gonna label the traits of all of these. I'm just gonna do trait twos, uh, like identify the trait twos that we see in this chart or in our Punnett square that we made. So we're looking first for capital A, lowercase a, capital Q, lowercase Q. Do we have any of these? It looks like we have one here so i'm going to put a two for trait two do we have any other others of those same ones it looks like we have one over here here and that's all my eyes can see so then we'll look for capital sorry we'll look for lowercase a's capital q lowercase q lowercase a's capital q lowercase q it looks like we have one over here and that's all I see there. And then the other trait two possibility is lowercase for all the letters. Lowercase for all the letters is not possible because we had these capital Q's over here being multiplied by everything. So really, these three boxes we have trait twos are all our possibilities. So we have three boxes with trait two out of the total eight boxes. And so three eighths is our answer. All right, I hope this helps. Let's go ahead and do a few more examples and I might even do a part two because I have a lot of examples to go through here. So starting with this one, parent with all the possibilities of A's and Q's, 
we have capital A, capital Q. We have capital A, lowercase q. And that's it. There's no lowercase a, so we don't have four possibilities. It's just two different q's, which means altogether we have two different possibilities. Parent two, we have lowercase and then uppercase q, lowercase q. So our possibilities of a's and q's are lowercase a, capital Q, lowercase a, lowercase q. And that's it. So we put those on the side for parent two. A and Q, make a little box here, just with four squares, that's even better. Now let's come up with our combination, the intersections, starting with A's, then Q's, A's, then Q's, and so on. All right, these are all our combinations, these intersections of these four uh, outcomes of the different two parents, whatever. All right. Now they're asking, what is the probability that the child has phenotype trait two? So a similar question. I'm just going to analyze which uh, you know squares we have are trait two. So looking for a a q q like that. Uh, looks like we have one here, and there are no others. Looking for this trait two. So just a capital Q. Uh, there are no lowercase a's, like, all together, so there's none of those. And then, likewise, this one has both lowercase a's, but there are no double lowercase a's. So, really, we just have this one out of the total four. So, one out of four is our result. All right, let's keep it rolling. This one, we have a, a, q, oh, sorry, yeah, no, that's right. Uh, so for parent one, A, A, Q, Q like this. So our possibilities are A with a capital Q and then lowercase A with a lowercase Q. That's parent one. Parent two is A, A, Q, Q like this. So this is a fun one because our possibilities of A's and Q's are literally just lowercase A, capital Q, because that's all we have. So lowercase A, capital Q, so when we make our box, it's just two squares, right? So we just have uh, A, A, Q, Q, A, A, Q, Q. All right. So um, what do they say? They say the child has trait one. What's the probability that it has genotype lowercase a's, uppercase q's? Okay, so let's find all the trait ones first in our box here. So the faster way to do this is look for this on the chart over here. So lowercase a's, capital Q's, we're looking at trait one. So I'll put the trait number inside the box and then I'll look for this one. A, A, so just a capital Q would be this one. So trait two. So labeled all the traits in here, right? So they say the child has trait one, meaning it must be this one. Then they ask, what's the probability it has genotype lowercase a, a, q, q? Well, if this is the only square that has trait 1, and that is a, a, q, q, the one they're looking for, then that is, uh, you know, one out of one probability or 100% likelihood. Therefore, 1 is our answer. It's the only uh, genotype lowercase a's, uppercase q's, that has that trait one. So it must be it. All right, I think we're doing okay on time, so let's just keep rolling through the rest of these. Parent one, we'll keep our rhythm going. Parent two, and make our squares and find our answer. So all the possibilities of a's and q's, lowercase a, uppercase q, and, oh, wow, yeah, that's it. Okay, so parent one is literally just a, q, parent two, we might have a four situation here, so I'll just lay them out on the side here. So we have, we'll have a q, a q, a q, and a q. So we have this like four by one situation. Labeling all these, we'll have a, whoops, a a q q. You know what's next, A-A-Q-Q's, A-A-Q-Q's. No reason to keep saying it. All right. 
So now, uh, they have a child. What's the probability? They have trait one, okay. So I think I'll do the same thing I did before where I'll just find these on the chart and label their traits. Uh, so AAQQ, we're looking for this one. So that's just two. We're looking for this one, alternating trait two. Looking for lowercase, uppercase, it's trait one. Looking for just one uppercase Q, that is trait one as well. So what's the probability child has trait one? Uh, has two trait ones out of the total four. Two out of four is one half. So one half is our answer. All right, I think I have one or two more here. Let's keep it going. Parent 1, AA, you could either have capital A, capital Q, or capital A, lowercase Q. And then for parent 2, only outcomes are capital A, lowercase Q. So we have another 1 by 2. And let's go ahead and label the outcomes AA, Q, Q, AA, Q, Q. And now, what's the probability that it has genotype that? So uh, let's go ahead and label the trait numbers for each of these in our Punnett square. So capital A, capital Q. That is trait 1. And then double A, lowercase q, looking at trait 2. This might have been the same one we did before. I'm not sure. But uh, so what's the probability it has genotype AAQQ? That is one out of one, I believe. Again, so 100% likelihood is one. All right, I might have one more. Yeah, all right, let's knock it out. So AAQ outcomes are capital A, lowercase q, lowercase a, lowercase q. And then we'll have a bunch on the side here. So we'll have A, Q, A, Q. So we have a four by two. <clears throat> so the odds of having trait three. So let's try to do it a little backwards here. There's only one trait three here. How can we get trait three? We can only get trait three from two lowercase a's one uppercase Q, one lowercase Q. Okay, so what are the combinations that are first going to give us two lowercase Qs, or sorry, two lowercase A's? So the lowercase A's will not come from any of these uppercase A's. It'll only come from this and this and this. So let's just fill in those and see where that takes us. So we have A, A, Q, Q, or A, a, Q, Q, like that. So those are our two options that we need to really consider just based on the two lowercase a's. So it kind of makes it more efficient in this case. So they say uh, the child has trait three. So the, again, the only one with trait three is this option here. And we only have one of those. So this one has trait three while the others will have either trait one or two, one or two, one or two, one or two, and so on. Um, so the probability that this child has genotype AAQQ is, I mean, there's only, <laughs> so there's only one trait three out of these eight, and that one trait three has lowercase a, lowercase a, uppercase Q, lowercase Q. So that's one out of the total eight options actually no i'm tripping hold up the child has trait three so if the child already has trait three the probability they have that genotype is one out of one sorry so the odds it has a a q q if trait three if it's trait three there's only one a a q q out of uh one trait three i don't know if that makes sense but <clears throat> similar to some of the other ones we did so hopefully this makes enough sense and you have enough examples here I'm sorry if this was a crazy long video but i just wanted to give you a bunch of different examples to walk you through it i hope this makes sense please let me know if you have any any questions all right